Senator Roy Blunt, welcome back to Big 550 KTRS here in St. Louis. Senator, are you there? I am here. Okay, good. I, I didn't hear everything you said there. No, what we didn't say anything. We were just uh, stalling until uh, we uh, got the distinguished senator from Missouri on the air with us. I am. I am here. Okay, good. Uh, let's talk about this uh, Veterans VA scandal. Uh, it seems like every few years another VA scandal, another Walter Reed scandal rears it, its ugly head. Everyone claims to care about the veterans. And then uh, every couple of years, uh, more veterans problems comes up. Why is it so hard to take care of our veterans? Well, you would think that would be one of the top priorities of the federal government. And I think part of the problem is that we keep getting diverted into areas that uh, some could be better done by states and, and local communities and moms and dads. And everything is about things that, that other people can do. The one thing that other people can't do, other governments can't do, is defend the country and then take care of those who step forward to do that. Uh, you know, we've had multiple problems at the Cochrane facility uh, in uh, St. Louis. Uh, I'm tired of it. I'm sure that the veterans and their families are tired of it. You would think the people running that hospital would be tired of it. Uh, and the most recent uh, uh, concerns, the most recent charges against the facility is that you've got people there on the mental health side of veterans care that just simply aren't treating as many people as they could as quickly as people could be treated. Uh, and uh, we need some answers to, to those questions and other questions being asked of, about veterans hospitals around the country. It, it, uh, it breaks my heart, Senator, every time, and, and many people who go downtown St. Louis and look at the Soldiers Memorial down there and see homeless veterans sleeping on the Soldiers Memorial. It seems like this scandal might be fixed, the Walter Reed scandal might be fixed, but just collectively, as a nation, we say we support the veterans, but when it's all said and done, we just don't. Well, I, I think generally in a, in a bigger context, McGraw, something else you and I have talked about in the last few months is we don't treat uh, mental health like we treat other physical health. Uh, the military, for instance, at, uh, a mil at a regular on-base hospital, if you're a retiree, if you're a spouse, if you're a dependent and have a physical health problem, you can stay at the hospital until you get that problem solved. If you've got a mental health problem, there's currently a limit on how many days you can stay. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you see homeless uh, people, uh, all of, virtually all of them, have some problem, particularly homeless individuals, that's led them to that place, whether they're veterans or not. And we need to deal with this generally better for everybody. And at the top of that priority list, as I think you're saying, uh, should be the veterans and what we do to be sure that our, our veterans are honored as they should be and work their way back into society once they've served. Should General Shin Shinseki, the head of the Veterans Affairs, uh, should he resign? You know, that's up to him to resign. What I'm afraid of if he resigns is that then uh, we'll say, well, now there's somebody new in charge. Let's give them a couple of years to see if they can't get this straightened out. I think this is a lot bigger problem than General Shinseki. Uh, the guy that was in charge of medical care for veterans for a long time, Dr. Petzl, uh, I've had issues with over the, uh, the last few years. Uh, I think he has not been forthcoming in how to deal with this. And the only, my only concern about General Shinseki uh, resigning would be that somehow people think that's the solution. I just think it's bigger than that. Uh, and uh, so if he wants to resign, that's fine with me. But I, what I'd be troubled about would be then we'll say, well, let's wait another couple of years. And then President Obama's gone. And then we say, well, let's wait another couple of years. We've got a new president in charge, somebody new's in charge of the VA. Uh, th this, this problem has been postponed long enough. Uh, and the one unacceptable thing would be if a resignation by General Shinseki or anybody else uh, is allowed to let this be postponed uh, for another a couple of years or another couple of months. We have an opportunity here with problems all over the country to drill down and try to figure out the best way we can deal uh, with veterans issues specifically and on a broader uh, context, mental health issues in general. Uh, another question while we have you, uh, Senator Roy Blunt, and that is uh, this company Circo in Wentzville that was set up to process the Affordable Care Act uh, 
filings and uh, paperwork that's sort of come through. Now we now learn that uh, there's not a lot of work, and these guys are sitting there playing solitaire on their computers. What are your thoughts as you watch this, this story unfold? Well, yeah, taxpayers should be uh, outraged by this, and I'm outraged by it. Uh, the the company that's running this uh, operation, a half a dozen locations around the country, one in St. Louis, a British company, that interestingly was having problems with the British government because the British government was contending that they hadn't done the work that they'd been hired to do on certain contracts. How the administration could find a British company to run these centers and a Canadian company to set up the website it is astounding to me. And then you've got the greater question of, well, we don't want people to know this isn't working very well, so let's not tell them that there aren't any applications to process at this big processing center uh, in, in Missouri. And uh, indications are that similar problems are occurring in the other processing centers that this uh, this company is running. And uh, it's another symptom of uh, the Affordable Care Act where people aren't responding as the administration thought. And rather than downsize, you just say, well, let's just act like we're busy. So hit your refresh button on your computer once every 10 minutes, every 10 minutes. And uh, uh, nobody processed more than one or two of these applications a month. So it will look like that everybody is doing something. It's outrageous. That is uh, Senator Roy Blunt. Senator, thank you very much for your time this morning. We know you are, are a very busy man. You've got plenty of mail here, so the next time you're in St. Louis, make sure you come by. I'll be by to pick it up soon. <laughs> Senator Roy Blunt, thank you for your time, sir.